Honey Bunny Funny Bunny Read by me, Justin Honey Bunny Funny Bunny By Marilyn Sadler Illustrated by Roger Bolan Honey Bunny Funny Bunny Honey Bunny Funny Bunny had a big brother. His name was PJ Funny Bunny. PJ Funny Bunny loved Honey Bunny Funny Bunny very much, but he liked to tease her. Every morning, PJ pulled the covers off Honey Bunny's bed. Sometimes he poured orange juice on her cornflakes. He liked to tie knots in the sleeves of her pretty dresses. He poured blue paint in her yellow paint jar and yellow paint in her blue paint jar. He even switched the heads on her dolls. And every night at the dinner table, PJ smashed mashed carrots on poor Honey Bunny's head. After dinner, he put her favourite fuzzy bunny blanket in the freezer. At bedtime, he hid under her bed and yelled, Boo! At least PJ can't bother me while I'm sleeping, said Honey Bunny Funny Bunny. Then one night... Honey Bunny's room. While Honey Bunny was fast asleep... PJ painted her face bright green. Mom, cried Honey Bunny in the morning. Look what PJ did. Mr. Funny Bunny was very angry. He sent PJ to his room. You are a very bad bunny, Mrs. Funny Bunny said. After that, Things were different at the Funny Bunny house. Honey Bunny had her cornflakes with milk. Her pretty dresses stayed nice and pretty. With her blue and yellow paints, she painted big yellow suns in blue skies. Honey Bunny's dolls kept their own heads. PJ Funny Bunny had stopped teasing Honey Bunny Funny Bunny. At first, Honey Bunny was very happy. But after a while, she began to feel that something was missing. Where is PJ? She asked her mother one day. He's gone out to play with his friends, said Mrs. Honey Bunny. Honey Bunny sat down by the window. She did not want to paint. She did not want to play dolls. She did not even want to play with her friends. She sat and sat and waited for PJ to come home. Finally, PJ came up the walk. Hi, PJ, said Honey Bunny. But PJ went right past Honey Bunny. That night at dinner, PJ sat and ate his mashed carrots. Honey Bunny just stared at hers. 
when it was time for bed, Honey Bunny's fuzzy bunny blanket was soft and warm. But Honey Bunny did not care. Honey Bunny looked under her bed. No PJ, no Boo. The next morning, PJ did not pull the covers off Honey Bunny's bed. Honey Bunny was as sad as sad can be. Mom, she cried, PJ doesn't love me any more. Mrs. Funny Bunny looked at Honey Bunny. Then she smiled. Oh, yes, he does, she said. Come with me. Mrs. Funny Bunny took Honey Bunny into the bathroom. She lifted her up in front of the mirror. Honey Bunny could not believe her eyes. Her face was painted blue with yellow polka dots. PJ loves me, she cried. Honey Bunny, Funny Bunny was very happy. <laughs> she ran to PJ's room. PJ Funny Bunny, you are the best brother a bunny could ever have, said Honey Bunny Funny Bunny. And she gave him a great big fuzzy bunny hug. The Beginner Book Story in 1957, Theodore Giesel, known to the world as Dr. Seuss, wrote a book called The Cat in the Hat. It was fun to read aloud, easy to read alone, and impossible to put down. From this magically right beginning came the concept of beginner books, exacting blends of words and pictures that encourage children to read all by themselves. Hailed by elementary educators and remedial reading specialists, these enormously popular books are now used in schools and libraries throughout the English speaking world. Beginner books, the right reading readiness every child needs. Hey guys, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. This is Justin Hoffman. Thanks for watching.